What's up everyone? My name is Nicolette and today I am going to be talking to you about conversion sizes for plugs. Um, this is kind of a weird one here in the US. We do use ga a gauge system. Um, a lot of other places in the world they do use millimeters. So if you're buying anything like overseas or something like that, you'll want to know millimeters. It's also on our website. All of our products are listed in the inch and fraction and millimeter. So that's helpful as well. But I just wanted to talk about it and talk about the difference. So we'll start at the beginning. Typically the size that people get pierced at um, is about a 20 or 18 gauge. Um, in our jewelry tax, when you buy any of our products, we do send this card as well that has some size conversions on the back. So that's super helpful and has some measuring tools on the front to help you if you need to figure out what size your jewelry is. Uh, so with a 20 gauge, it's, it's a 0.8 millimeter. Um, and then up from that is an 18 gauge, which is one millimeter. So from there, you have pretty small incremental um, jumps. So for a 16 gauge would be a 1.2 millimeter, 14 gauge is 1.6 millimeter, 12 gauge is 2 millimeter. And then again, just those small, small increments, 10 gauge is a 2.4 millimeter, 8 gauge can be 3 to 3.2 millimeter. So that one is kind of, kind of varies. Um, and then six gauge is four millimeter and that's where we start going up in whole numbers from there. Four gauge is going to be um, a five millimeter, two gauge is six millimeter and then that's where the one millimeter increments kind of pause for a minute. So when you're stretching you might have had this experience when you're starting to stretch up and you go and you're at a two gauge and you wanna to go to that next size, which is zero gauge. And it's a little bit tougher than any other transition or any other stretch up that you've done up until that point. And here's why, because that is the first jump that is a two millimeter increment increase. So a two, two gauge is a six millimeter, but a zero gauge is an eight millimeter. So it can be a tough jump. Luckily, UBJ carries sizes in every millimeter. So if you're trying to stretch up and you're having a tough time with that, just get that one gauge, you know, that's, that comes in at seven millimeter and it makes that transition a lot easier to get to that zero. Um, and then from there, you also have um, the double zero gauge, which is 10 millimeters. And we do also have that nine millimeter as well. So like I said, a zero gauge is eight millimeter, double zero is 10 millimeter. After double zero, the gauge system stops. And now we move into uh, fractions of inches and we're on that system, which is difficult if I do say so myself. I prefer the millimeters, but I understand we're here and we're living on the, the inch system. So uh, I'll continue forward. So from a double zero, the next size up that you would go would be a seven sixteenths of seven sixteenths of an inch and that measures at 11 millimeter. Um, and then there's also, so the next size up from that is gonna be a half inch, and half inch is a little bit tricky. So we do carry half inch ranging from 12 millimeter to 12.5 millimeter to 13 millimeter. Um, so that one is kind of a tough one, but it's pretty, pretty easy to go through, and luckily, like I said, we have sizes in every millimeter, so you just have to, you can find that in between, it makes it a little bit easier. From half inch, the uh, next size up would be 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths is gonna measure at 14 millimeter. And then next size up is 5 eighths of an inch. And that's gonna measure at 16 millimeter. And then this is a big jump here from 5 eighths of an inch to 3 quarter inch, which is the size I'm at. It's actually a three millimeter jump. So it goes from 5 eighths, which is 16 millimeter, all the way up to 3 quarter inch, which is 19 millimeters. I actually did a video about stretching up to a 17 millimeter, which made that transition to three quarter inch, which is the size I choose to stay at a lot easier. So if you're having some difficulties, go ahead and check out those videos and, and um, take it slow. So after a three quarter inch is seven eighths of an inch, that one comes in at 22 millimeter. And after that, you finally hit one inch, which is 25 millimeter. So that's another three millimeter increment jump. So it is helpful to have those in between sizes that UBJ offers. Um, typically, most, most uh, 
companies will stop at one inch plugs, but we do go bigger. So I'll just go over some of the basics after one inch. After one inch is one and one eighth inch, and that's 28 millimeters. After that is one and one quarter inch, which is 32 millimeters. One after that is one and three eighths inch, which is 35 millimeters, and then one and a half inches, which is 38 millimeters. Um, you can keep going up from there just to hit a couple. So there's three, uh, one and a half inch, and then there's one and three quarter inch is 44 millimeter, and then two inches is 51 millimeter. Um, something to keep in mind is also if you are putting in a single flare or a double flare, um, just keep in mind a double flare is always going to have those little lips on the sides that kind of come up anywhere between one to two, sometimes even three millimeter. And it can be difficult if you just stretched up. So make sure you are fully peeled before you try to put double flares in. I also made a video about how to put double flares in and the wearable part in the center. Um, you can, I'll link it down below and you can check that out as well. Um, another good video to go back and reference is our how to measure plugs, specifically double flares um, video. And if you're not sure about what size your jewelry is, you're wanting to buy more jewelry and you're not sure what size you are, I can recommend um, investing in a caliper. These are really great um, and it'll tell you the measurement in millimeters and then you come back to this video and find out what it is in the inch and fraction, which is really nice. Um, so just like a little size comparison, I'll show you like this is an eight, an eight gauge. So this is pretty tiny, pretty tiny one. And then we go all the way up to this is almost two inches. This one here is one and seven eighths of an inch. So. They're pretty large, pretty heavy in the gemstone ones. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful and let us know if you have any questions or concerns about um, your sizing, anything like that. Make sure that you consult a local piercer if you are having any difficulties with stretching up or sizing out your jewelry and I'm sure they'll be ready to help you. Thanks so much for watching.